Hello everyone, welcome back. The question of how long one can live with HIV without knowing it has been a subject of controversy for decades. In fact, some people believe that being diagnosed with the virus is like having a death sentence. But this is not true. If you have HIV but don't know your status and no signs or symptoms, there is still hope that your life can continue normally and even get better over time if you get the right treatment early in your infection. How long can you live with HIV before symptoms appear? The average time between infection and symptoms is 10 years. Some people can live with HIV for decades without knowing it, but others may experience symptoms like night sweats or weight loss within six months of infection. People living with HIV need to take antiretroviral drugs, ART, to keep their immune systems healthy and prevent opportunistic infections, which are caused by an overactive immune system and other HIV-related health problems. ART also helps prevent person-to-person -person transmission through sex or sharing needles for injection drug use. The best way for people who want treatment now, but haven't started yet, is for those with AIDS, because it's expensive and difficult. However, some insurance plans cover these types of medications at no cost, if your doctor agrees you need them right away, not only for cost savings, but also for safety concerns specifically related to timing of symptoms after being infected with HIV. How long can you live with HIV without treatment? HIV is a virus that attacks the immune system. It can be transmitted through sexual contact, blood contact, or from mother to child. ART is a drug that suppresses the virus and improves your health over time. However, people on ART must take forever to keep the virus under control and not develop additional symptoms of AIDS. How to know if you have HIV? There are several ways to find out if you have HIV. The most common way is to take an HIV test. HIV tests look for the presence of antibodies in the blood that are specific to the HIV virus. If you have these antibodies, it means you have been infected with HIV. Other ways to tell if you have HIV include a low white blood cell count, a sign of AIDS, or the appearance of certain symptoms common in people with HIV or AIDS. What are the symptoms of HIV? The first signs of HIV are often flu-like symptoms, including fever, night sweats, and diarrhea. These may develop within the first few weeks after exposure to the virus. The following symptoms can also occur in people who have been diagnosed with HIV. Swollen lymph nodes, lymph glands. Weight loss or increased appetite. Fatigue. How is HIV transmitted? HIV is transmitted through sexual contact, blood-to-blood -blood contact, and mother-to-child contact. It cannot be spread through casual contact, such as a handshake, hug, or kiss. HIV can be detected in the blood of a person with AIDS for at least six months before they develop symptoms, but it may take longer if their immune system is weakened. You should not have unprotected sex unless you have been tested and are sure you are not infected with HIV, AIDS, or another sexually transmitted disease. How to prevent HIV transmission? There are several ways to prevent the transmission of HIV. Use a condom during sex. A condom protects against both pregnancy and the transmission of sexually transmitted diseases, including HIV. Condoms can also help prevent the spread of other STIs if used correctly. Get tested regularly for STIs, sexually transmitted infections, and make sure you know your status if you have ever been diagnosed with an STD or are at risk of contracting one now. If you're not sure what kind of infection you have, ask your doctor about getting tested for all kinds of germs, including HIV, to find out which ones you may not yet know are causing health or fertility problems. How is HIV treated? Several drugs can be used to treat HIV. The most common is a combination of drugs called antiretroviral therapy. These drugs are designed to interfere with the virus so that it cannot replicate and cause disease. 
If you are on antiretroviral therapy, your doctor will give you an initial prescription that will last six months or more and then check you in from time to time to make sure everything is working well. Treatment helps prevent HIV from turning into full-blown AIDS, which means it helps keep the immune system strong enough not only to survive, but also to stay healthy in general. What is the prognosis for people with HIV? If you have been diagnosed with HIV, it is important to remember that you are not alone. There are many resources available to help you manage your illness. What does manageable mean? That depends on the person who is managing their own health situation. You might have an excellent doctor or nurse who knows exactly how to treat your symptoms without upsetting your immune system too much. Or maybe it means that instead of taking medication every day, which is usually necessary, just take them when needed during the day. So as not to leave yourself open for infection from other people who haven't been tested yet. Either way, managing means different things for different people depending on their values, about how much control they want over their lives as well as where they fall within society's attitudes toward those living with HIV. Recap If you have HIV, you need to be tested regularly for signs of infection. If your virus is asymptomatic, it can be difficult to know if it has been present in your body for a long period of time without symptoms. The earlier on in your HIV infection that you are diagnosed and treated, the better your chances of surviving and living a long life with the disease. That's all for today's video. We have created detailed video series on HIV. All the links are available in video description, so be sure to check it out. As you're about to leave, please remember to give the video a like and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.